Hey guys, welcome back to another workout. It is Wednesday. As you know, we wear pink on Wednesdays. Today's workout is dedicated to Liz's sister who unfortunately passed away due to cancer. Let's make sure that today's workout from your end, you're working out hard, you're pushing yourself in, in memory of Liz's sister. Thank you, Liz, for allowing us to dedicate this workout to her. The workout is a seven rounds for time of five burpees and one clean. If you aren't doing the clean, your modification is going to be two squat jumps for every one clean. Then we'll take a two minute rest and we'll move on to another seven rounds for time where it'll be five cleans really 10 cleans if you're doing the squat uh, modification. So not 10 cleans, five cleans and 10 squat jumps. And then you are adding one burpee every round. So the first seven rounds for time will be five burpees and then one clean. And then you're gonna add one clean every single round. Round two would be five burpees, two cleans. Round three would be five burpees, three cleans. We'll take a two minute rest after that seven rounds for time. And then we'll move on to another seven rounds for time where it'll be five cleans, one burpee, five cleans, two burpees, five cleans, three burpees, all the way till we get to seven. There'll be a total time cap of 20 minutes. The question is what happens if you finish your workout early? You will have the rest of your time to accumulate three minutes of wall sits. So it's an accumulation. You rest and do it as you see fit up until the 20 minute mark. If you finish in 14 minutes, then you essentially have six minutes to get your three minutes of accumulated uh, wall sits or more. And then we'll have after the workout some auxiliary stuff that we will do as well and guide you through that. For now, let's get these athletes warmed up. Let's start with our 10 air squats. Do five facing me and then five facing each other. Knees driving out, nice big chest. Heels on the ground the entire time. At the top, we're coming to full extension, hips through. You can squeeze your glutes at the top. From the side profile, we wanna make sure that that chest is up and that we are breaking parallel. That means our hips are going lower than our knees and our heels are on the ground the entire time. Let's do five burpees nice and slow though. Five nice and slow burpees. So you're gonna peel yourself on and off the floor. Allie, I'm gonna have you move to, towards Kevin a little bit. We're doing five, nice and slow. At the top, just pause and chill for a sec. Nice groove. If we need to step back, Allie's gonna show us a step back and then a step up if we need to modify. And we can just step up and we'll do one more of the modified version of our burpee. Awesome, let's hold a squat position, go ahead. And we're gonna hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds. If you don't have a wall to eventually work uh, against during the, the end portion of this workout, you will just hold this squat for, the, for those three minutes. And let's do some walkouts. You do five walkouts. So you're putting your hands on the ground, your feet are staying where they are. You're walking yourself out to a push-up position, keeping your legs as straight as possible as we walk our hands back in. Your hands are what's doing the movement, your feet are staying exactly where they are. This is eventually what you'll be using towards the end of the workout when we do auxiliary in replace of our stiff leg deadlifts. And for the workout, as you know, we'll be using cleans. Let's have our athletes get to what they'll use equipment-wise for their cleans. We're gonna have Kevin start with three cleans with a barbell in the back. You wanna make sure that you have a nice big chest. And we're driving up, making contact if you can. Let's show one without contact. And we just wanna make sure that when we catch, we're in that semi-squat position and one more. Elbows are nice and high when we catch, perfect. If you don't have a barbell or if you're a beginner, you're gonna be used doing what Allie is doing in the front left, which is a squat into a jump and landing right back into that squat. She doesn't get away with just doing one. Perfect. And then we have Alyssa who can use a kettlebell with one arm, you'll do one, one with one arm and then one with the other arm. 
And for her, let's see if she can go right from the ground. So instead of that hang position, let's see if we can keep that kettlebell on the ground, pull up, and then we land in that semi-squat position. Your elbows have to be really aggressive with coming forward, up, and fast and high. Let's have her do a couple cleans from the ground with a torpedo, which will be a lot more comfortable than your kettlebell. And we are driving up, hips come through, and then we catch in that squat, elbows drive. If your torpedo is too light, you can always double the reps. And now we'll have her experiment with a plate, which will be very similar to our torpedo because your hands are on the side. And we'll go as low as we can, let the front of that plate hit, and we tap the ground. It might be a little bit awkward at the top of the position just because of how far your hands are from your body. And again, you can modify accordingly. And then the last modification we'll have will be a med ball clean where she is starting from the ground and then getting into that semi-squat position on the catch. Elbows are driving through. And let's do one more. Depending on your piece of equipment will determine what you're gonna be using for the workout. So you either have a barbell, you have a, an array of equipment through Alyssa, and then Allie in the front left will be doing the body weight version of the workout. It's only two movements, or three movements should I say. You have the, your cleans, you have your burpees, and then at the end you have your wall sits or just your squat hold. The workout has a 20 minute cap, however you might finish early based on how long the workout takes, the, the, the rounds for time, and then how long it takes you to actually get those three minutes of accumulated wall sits finished. Let's have these athletes get started, and as usual, I'll have the music ride out without any commentary. We are up in 10 seconds. Camera battery good? Don't run away from the camera with the mic on. Three, two, one.
away from me I need you to stay right there I'm coming right away, my dear I tried this, tried that, tried everything Coming right back, right back Won't you wait for me
want you away from me I need you to stay right there I'm coming right away, my dear I tried this, tried that, tried everything Coming right back, right back Want you away from me
20 seconds remaining. Five, four, three, two, and rest. As you are resting, you can follow along. We are going to eventually move into our auxiliary work. We are only gonna do one set of each. However, you will be doing three sets of each, as you can see on the screen. The first auxiliary exercise we're going to be doing is a stiff leg deadlift. I'm going to have Allie do the modification for a stick, stiff leg deadlift, which is a walkout. She wants to keep her legs as straight as possible throughout the entire range of motion and slowly walk those hands forward and backward. She will do 15 of those. As she's doing those, Kevin will show us a stiff leg deadlift with a barbell. Again, keeping those legs as straight as possible on the way down. And on the way up, I'm going to have Kevin move forward a little bit. And perfect. We're going to be able to see exactly what we're looking for. Keep those legs nice and straight. If you keep them too straight, it might be too uncomfortable. He has a slight bend of his knee. Really, it's going to be depending on your hamstring flexibility. Be, be careful on this. And Alyssa will be showing us the straight leg deadlift with a kettlebell. And then you can hold a torpedo, a plate, a wall ball, or dumbbells as well. You're gonna be doing 15 of those. Everybody, moving on to single leg glute bridges. This is a body weight modification for everyone. You're gonna be doing one rep, except for Kevin who has a barbell, or you can use a torpedo if you have a bench available. Let's show us a body weight glute bridge, one leg at a time. You're going to lift one hip to the ceiling and you do 10 on one side, 10 on the other versus alternating every one. So let's do 10 in a row on one side. And Alyssa, you could show us if you don't have a bench, what you do, you, how you can do it with a torpedo. You could do it one leg each or you can do it both legs, depending on what you have and how comfortable you are. And Kevin, who has a bench and a barbell, lift up. The middle of your back is on the pad. Your hands are on the barbell just for support. And we are lifting that butt from the ground to the air. You can also do this movement without a bench. And let's see if Kevin could show us it without a bench. And as you can see, Alyssa is doing two legs at the same time. And Kevin, same as Alyssa, even if you have a barbell. It might be uncomfortable with the barbell on your leg like that. You can always wrap a towel around the barbell. And finally, let's go into a side plank. Now you can do this where you're on your elbow and on your knee. As Allie is demonstrating, Alyssa will show us where elbow on our feet. Kev will show us where you have something that you're leaning on, which will make it harder or your feet are leaning on, sorry. And let's show everyone if your hand is straight, Alyssa, Allie, are, no, nope, the other arm straight. Yep. And we are good. And Alyssa, let's show us 